This is how Group D stands as we look at it now. Then England and France both pick up a point. Sweden and Ukraine still to play. Michael Balak and Alexi Lalas are with me in the studio. Um, Alexi, what impressed you from both teams today? Your initial thoughts? England. England. Clap. Roy really? Hodgson. Absolutely, Michael. Absolutely. That was a team performance. They knew exactly what they wanted to do. They went out and did it. They got a huge, huge point. That's what England is, and that's okay. I sense disagreement from you, Michael. Tell me why. I'm really disappointed with the game. I think, to be honest, you're right. I mean, England, they wanted the point, they got one, but is this the way to play football in the future? And I'm not sure. We leave that, that to the Germans. We can't all be German. No, they no, they no, were that pragmatic. Has, that's has, they did what they needed the to do. This has nothing to do with the Germans. I think if you're parking three buses in front of the, <laughs> of the goal, I mean, that's not football. They're sitting back most of the time. With, with 10 players, it's difficult for, for, for every team to create chances. I think, create there's, chances. I think there's beauty in I think there is beauty in it, Michael. I'm not impressed. So, Caesar, were you impressed? Was I impressed? Yeah. At the Germans? Yeah. No, 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 the, that game. Do you remember it? I don't remember that game. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember anything from 2012 Euro. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, yeah. I feel like Caesar is right about, like, uh, they were trash. England was trash. They had a terrible team back then. <laughs> they did. Andy, Andy Carroll. Andy Carroll. <laughs> yeah, Andy Carroll. I think Heskey could still get on the team. I think he was too old by then. Oh, he was? Yeah. Wasn't he in the 20? Oh, wait, that was 2010. Never mind. Um, I think uh, Jack Wilshere was on that team. Um, Danny Welbeck was expected to score. <laughs> uh, Walcott was in there. Oh, right? and Rooney. Yeah, Walcott Rooney. and Rooney. On the way out, Rooney. <laughs> Rooney was always shit for the national team. Yeah, it's kind of sad, right? He had that one good tournament in 2004, the Euros. Oh, when he first started? Yeah, when he was a young buck. Mm -hmm. But after that, he, he caught on to England. Yeah. <laughs> or England he got the England sickness. Uh, <laughs> by flopping at tournaments. Yeah, I don't know. I remember they had a good team back then. They call it the golden generation because of the midfielders. Yeah. Well, but I don't know. They were disappointing, regardless. Do you think it's like an American point of view versus a German point of view for soccer? <laughs> oh, with the Lala thing? Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Right? I like it's how like sharp contrast in how they view yeah. things. <laughs> I like how he's like, that's not how you play football in the future. He was ahead of his time. Yeah, and he's right. Like, now it's like, who defends? Yeah. <laughs> Iceland does. <laughs> oh, yeah. Basically, they have to. They don't have anybody. Yeah. <laughs> they have amateur people on their team. They have Sigurdsson. That one dude. Don't amateur. they all end with Sun at the end? I think so. <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> that's a national requirement. <laughs> Wasn't the goalkeeper, like, amateur? He, yeah, he He's was like a part-time director. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, someone's a dentist on the team, too. Really? That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> they they shocked Argentina and tied them in the last oh, World yeah. Cup. Oh, yeah. That's the third, fourth team. Remember, we're like, it was Nigeria, Argentina, and then, who was it? Uh, Croatia. Croatia. Croatia, yeah. Croatia and Argentina. Yeah, yeah Croatia. <laughs> we were, like, trying to say that was a tough team. Or a I don't, I'm not scared of Iceland. No? No. Anybody could have gone in there and whooped them. Except for Argentina. Yeah. Oh, I remember he that dude blocked Messi's penalty. Oh yeah, yeah. The director. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna make a documentary about Messi not winning the World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild though. You think Messi has another chance to get a World Cup? Yeah. Twenty twenty two. How old is he right now? I think he's thirty one. Thirty two. Thirty. Thirty one. He's thirty or thirty one. Yeah, I think he has a chance. I I think he does, but I don't think he starts, or I don't think he has that that big of a role. Yeah. yeah. It won't be his team. It'll be like the Bala and hopefully Cardi team. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. But if Cardi plays, then Messi's not playing. Messi oh. hates Cardi. He does? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Is it because of the Icardi whole Icardi said it scandal? himself, like, Messi doesn't want me in the team. That's why he wasn't in the World Cup squad. Damn. Wow. Yeah. Dude, he's good. Yeah. I'd rather have Icardi than uh, Aguero. Or he... Aguero? Yeah. Yeah. I would have Aguero. I wouldn't have Higuain. <laughs> Higuain? Yeah. I oh so I was watching that um that Champions League with uh, what was it uh, Real Madrid versus Man U and I saw Egoin set up, set up Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> that should have happened this year. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, oh yeah, they did play together. Did yeah. you did you see Egoin's comments during the weeks or during the week? Oh, then he got booted out. Yeah, they kicked yeah. him out. That's kind of sad, right? Yeah. yeah. He said he had no intention to leave when Ronaldo came did and I was doesn't gone. Doesn't he have like? Didn't he have big wages too? Uh yeah, I think I that's think why. After his huge deal, they spent like 90 million to get him. 
That was yeah, crazy. At the time, he was the biggest transfer in Juventus history. Really? Yeah. At the time. And he, he the time. He <laughs> I mean, he had just come off like a 38 or 36 goal season uh, with, with Napoli. With that beer gut, can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> the beer gut. <laughs> After each game, he would drink that many goals. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's funny. 37 shots. Okay, 38 goals. 38 shots now. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, he's, he was looking chunky. <laughs> he's still good, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More body. <laughs> he's like the one fat goalkeeper. <laughs> oh, yeah. The pie one? <laughs> yeah. So, like, the um, this week, we, we, had, uh, we went to what's called Fast Five, and one of our old friends came. He's a bigger person. <laughs> and he was like, we were like, are you going to play? He's like, no, I don't want to play. I'm like, come on, you can be goalie like old times. Because, <laughs> you know, you always put, put the biggest dude in the back. Yeah. <laughs> so we told him to do it. <laughs> he had a bad game. Did he let everything in? No, he didn't go goalie, but he he, he slipped on the ball. <laughs> and it was really bad. Like, he, he made like a split. <laughs> yeah, dude. I felt bad. He had to get out. <laughs> <laughs> I, ho- I hope he's not listening to this pod. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, he might listen to it someday. I won't say his name. <laughs> we'll, ble- we'll bleep it out. Bleep- I never said his name. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll bleep it out just to say, just to yeah. think he we bleeped it out or whatever. Yeah, he's okay though. So if you guys are worried, I hope he does. I hope he yeah, is. He walked home, so <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you can't walk home after a game, that means you're really hurt. <laughs> we'll find out whenever he has kids. He has kids. <laughs> oh, okay. oh shit. He's good. Okay. He's secure. He doesn't yeah. need to pump another one. No. <laughs> it was a free vasectomy. <laughs> Except there's no reversing. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that, yeah, it looked painful. Like, even the other team was like, is he okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And with that, it's the 14th episode of Los Tres Lays One Goal with me, Caesar. And Danny. And Towson. We're missing J-Dog today, but here's your shout out. <laughs> he's sad about the game, right? <laughs> I don't even know. How about the, the 2-2 tie? menu tie? Yeah. He's hunting down the assistant. <laughs> 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 take revenge from me. Oh, Mourinho. <laughs> Dude, I remember, like, I woke up, like, 10, maybe, like, 15 minutes before it ended. So I was waking up. I was reading, uh, like, you guys' like, messages. And I was like, should I even watch this? Like, it's over. So I decided to tune in. And I got to the best part. <laughs> <laughs> the fight. <laughs> yeah, the fight. The last five or ten minutes were just crazy wild. Yeah. Yeah. Chelsea was going in, right? Well, yeah, kind of. Mm. But, I mean, it was it was, come, it was from a corner. And um, De Gea did stop it twice. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah. But it still went in. I thought it was an unlucky goal. Yeah, it was unlucky. Oh, like on another day. Yeah. 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 He would have just taken another bounce. He blocked it. it like right in the line, right? Yeah, with his hand. twice. Yeah. yeah. And then that one dude scored. And they just landed on Barkley's feet. Can't do anything about that. They've been hyping up Barkley recently. He's doing pretty well. I think uh, Saudi's like helped him out. Oh, really? He's a star for me in FIFA 18. Oh, yeah. <laughs> At Everton. <laughs> <laughs> Remember he was in Everton? Yeah, he was being an ass. He didn't want to sign. Remember he went to Chelsea like twice last year? He uh the like during the summer transfer window he was a deadline day deal mm. and he said he was gonna go but then he backtracked and stayed at Everton really and really? then in January he just he finally went to Chelsea for free I yeah think. or something like or very low yeah I mean I heard he's pretty good I don't know I never really watched him play did you, what did you guys think about him he's a mid mid table player oh yeah <laughs> not Chelsea level yeah Everton oh. suited him really well yeah mm. so you but, think he's out of depth. Uh no I guess not it just depends on the coach you know Saudi's been doing really well to uh, improve him and stuff so hmm. I don't think st- there's space for him did to he be start honest. no oh. did he start I don't remember are don't you guys remember. surprised that Fabregas doesn't start anymore or are you isn't he, he injured I thought he was he was not. back I think I don't know I'm not surprised I think he's just getting older he's yeah. too old and I think didn't uh Jorginho take his role I think so yeah I think I the Kovacic did maybe maybe those two. <laughs> I, yeah, maybe was it Sorry, can... brought in his people. Oh, and threw just, him like, out. Kind of threw him out, but you know, Bro, he, is old. He always gets thrown out now. <laughs> Barca threw him out. <laughs> Jelly threw him out. We, we didn't le- go. Where else? We didn't let him back in. <laughs> <laughs> He's a man without a home. Yeah, really. He should have. He should have gone. His yeah. next destination is Juventus. Juventus. Old people <laughs> for AC Milan. AC Milan. The China League. <laughs> we can China play with Xavi. Yeah. Oh no, that's Japan. Sorry. Yeah. I don't know, it's actually Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. No, Qatar. 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 <laughs> That's crazy. You can play with Iniesta in Chinese League. <laughs> <laughs> don't they get paid well, though? 
That's what they say. Yeah. It's the last biggest contract they can get. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I think I would do the same move. <laughs> they offered Ronaldo like 500000 a week wages. He didn't want to go. That, that's a lot. Yeah. I feel like Juventus, doesn't Juventus pay him like three hundred or 400000 300 I think. <sighs> so much. That's that a is lot. a lot for like an old name Aging. Ronaldo. <laughs> Yeah, know. twenty-one million a year. You think he bad. still got like three more seasons? Mm, two. How, I would how, say two. However, how long does this Juventus contract last? I think it was three. No, it's like five years. Five. Twenty twenty-three oh, or twenty twenty-two. <laughs> what? Damn. Yeah. Is he just gonna be like a? He's not gonna play. He's just gonna be there, just to like bring, <laughs> you know, bring attention to the team. I guess so, but it's twenty twenty-two. Four years. Four years. Yeah, that's a lot. Because his contract with Madrid was twenty twenty-one. So he got one more extra year. It's twenty twenty two. I don't know about that one. What do you guys think? You think I'll I'll live I it out? I think top level would be another season after this. So twenty up, up until twenty twenty, he'll play good, and after that, he'll be like phased out. Not going to be the best in the world. So like the twenty twenty the twenty twenty euros will be the last thing he'll be remembered for, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Every time I doubt him, like <laughs> he keeps going. You know. <laughs> He's gonna be thirty six. Uh, so I mean, he can be know. just a pure striker. Even I, that, I don't think so. I, d- I don't know. No? Yeah. I don't know. Nah. He would do a bunch of headers. He would be like a uh, Falani yeah. or Peter Crouch. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Last minute when you need a big, tall header. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Or he could be Ibrahim, which... <laughs> there were some players that were playing till 38, though. It wasn't Remember Totti was playing till like 40, I think? Yeah, but Totti was coming off the bench. I don't think Ronaldo would come off. Oh. Yeah, Roma was phasing him out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. Ronaldo will be his ego's too big for that. Oh, I'm not getting phased out. Yeah, going to MLS. <laughs> Maybe he will do Ibrahimovic and go to MLS. Probably, LA Galaxy or maybe Miami United. The David Beckham. He'll go to the other LA team. The LAFC? LAFC. Yeah. I don't think he would fit. He he would want to go there. No. I mm-hmm. think the way they're stretching that club, it's like very um, Mexican oriented. Oh, really? Yeah. They have a lot of like Mexican internationals and everybody else. Oh, so it's like uh, Club America. It's basically kinda. Chivas 2.0. Chivas 2.0, yeah. <laughs> I heard they hate that though. They hate being called Chivas 2.0. Really? Yeah. So, <laughs> so for those who don't know, Chivas, the Chivas club in Mexico, only um, hires Mexican players. So a lot of the times they're a lot of the national team. But recently they're trash, so none of them get into the national team. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I guess you can call it racist. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> or selective. I don't know. I don't think uh, Ronaldo's gonna go to another club. No? I, I remember his uh, agent said that he went to his last club. Really? So, really? Yeah. Damn. I think that might be it, yeah. Yeah. So he'll retire at Juventus? Kind of yeah. want to retire at Man U, just to see him. He finally came back. <laughs> <laughs> One more year. <laughs> they will take him, open arms. Do you remember every season they would be like, is he coming back <laughs> to save the club? And he never did. <laughs> <laughs> I think because Fergie What's left. that one fan's name on the Red Devils TV? Andy? He Andy. keeps saying, Ronaldo would hate it here. <laughs> 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 Ronaldo will <was> suffocate. <laughs> no, it's true, because... I think the only thing that would attract him back was Fergie, you know, because mm-hmm. that's his, like, he made him, kind of, you know, or helped him, <laughs> mentored him. He's, like, the only coach he really got along with and really yeah. admired, mm-hmm. maybe other than Zidane, but. No, well, I feel like Fergie, like, built him up, and then after that, like. It was all him? Yeah, it was all him. Because I remember he used to do a lot of flicks and tricks, and then slowly but surely he would cut him out, mm-hmm. and then be more direct. Do you ever hear the stories about Paul Scholes or Rio Ferdinand saying they would, uh, in training, they would slide tackle Ronaldo? Really? Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, so he would stop? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Damn. <laughs> That's funny. But that works though, right? Yeah. Dang. That's funny. I always remember that one story with David Beckham where they threw a shoe at his head. Oh, that was Fergie? <laughs> yeah. And then, like, he had, like, in a training? Cut. Yeah, he, no, I think it was, like, in the locker room after they lost or something. Damn. So they, he threw the boot at his head and it cut him on the eye. Around the whatever, and then like when he came out, they're like, "What happened?" <laughs> and they're like, "Nothing." <laughs> you know, you just don't talk about it. it. Slipped. Yeah, there was also this one thing about um, I think Arsenal played Man U, and like I guess they had a like a heated game. So after the game, you know, they walk in the tunnel, mm-hmm. and I guess Fabregas threw like a pizza slice at Fergie, Damn. or something like that. How do you get a pizza slice? I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Maybe that goalkeeper was around somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Good good times. Remember when Howard was at Menu? Oh yeah. No, I do I remember. It. I remember it, but I think he started like cup games. Cup games, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was second. He was good. I think he was good. 
I think you told me a story uh, that you said that uh, Fergie or that uh, Howard was uh, messing up as, as goalkeeper in, uh, tr- during training. Mm-hmm. Fergie told him, like, if you fuck up one more time, I'll send you back to MLS in that shithole. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Uh, you told me that, I remember. Really? Yeah. I don't remember this. I thought you told me that. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We should look that up. <laughs> I can see it happening, though. Yeah, MLS was terrible back then. Yeah. It was like 14. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Wasn't it made in 94 or something? It was after the the World Cup in 94. Yeah, it was. So 96, 95, something like that. Dang, it's as old as me. Or us. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't even born. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. So back to Man U versus Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't, yeah. So I, who's the man of the match? That assistant. <laughs> that assistant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, I don't know if you saw the tweet. Like, it said it was like, every we were all that assistant coach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, it, uh, when it happened live, I don't know what was going on. I thought like the, the guy actually pushed uh, Mourinho. Yeah. Or fought him because like the way Mourinho got up, it looked like he was ready to fight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I thought it was Sari who was fighting with him. <laughs> <laughs> Sari looks like a gangster. Yeah, you ever he, see him? He, he seems like he looks like a smoker, like an <laughs> like Italian gonna, mafia dude. He is a smoker. He's yeah. gonna pull out a cigarette and start smoking on the fridge. <laughs> yeah, he, <does. laughs> he reminds me like a banker, you know? I don't know. He looks like a mob boss. Yeah. Yeah. You think that's why they obey him? Like, oh shit, <laughs> he's he gonna might, get us. He might get whacked. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. No, yeah, I, like, I saw it, and, like, so first, first the they scored, and then they're all, like, coming out of the bench. Assistant, like, celebrates in front of um, Mourinho, and then he comes back and celebrates <laughs> again. Like, what the hell? I guess? <laughs> yeah, he did it twice. <laughs> first time, really Mourinho was like, whatever, you know? But second time, when he came back, Mourinho was like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, his face is priceless, bro. Yeah, yeah he's like, what? expression. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at uh, Marcus Rojo's face in the back, and he's also like that. He's like, "What? Like, what's yeah. going on?" Yeah, yeah. It was weird. Yeah, like, I don't know, but what? it's good. It's good. Good emotion. What would you do if you were Mourinho in that uh, that spot? Uh, I would get pissed too, because basically they had one, you know. And it was like a last second effort. Yeah, me like too. Kind of like on FIFA, you know, like a scramble, and then somehow it went in. Uh, yeah, I would. He was pissed from that, and then that made it worse. Mm. He seemed unbothered, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> he was just sitting there, like, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, he expected it? Or just, it happened, it happened? It happened. I, I don't know, maybe his luck's running out. Maybe that's how he feels. Yeah, it's like the world's against him. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, the soccer gods. <laughs> like, not nah, today. <laughs> yeah. Like, he did good, though. He's I like, think. fuck your bus. <laughs> <laughs> they, they played pretty well in the second half, from what I saw. His taxes were, tactics were right. Second mm-hmm. half. Like yeah, I thought, counter-attacks. Yeah, I thought their counterattack was very lethal and effective. Wasn't that the only way though for them? I think so because they had a thirty-six percent possession. Yeah, thirty-six or thirty-eight something Damn, like that. Damn, that's a lot of possession. <laughs> it's not a lot of possession. <laughs> no, I meant for the other team. Oh, for Chelsea, yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. Chelsea do the play that way though. They keep passing now. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah. They got capable midfielders now. Damn, everybody's trying to do attacking football, right? Yeah, it's 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 the hip thing. <laughs> you think it'll change back to like defensive? Somebody will find a way to exploit it. There's always somebody to exploit the what's popular and then take advantage of that. Because I remember for when they like exploited Tiki Taka, it was a defensive football. It was countering, right? Yeah, basically. So just holding down. Down's coming up with a plan. He's <laughs> taking that break. He's, he's rubbing his hands to counter that. Football. He's, like, no. he's rubbing that bald head. <laughs> <laughs> his head gets more shiny. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how Henri got the Monaco position, and then he was wearing like some like tennis shoes or whatever. Yeah, they were talking <laughs> in, about it in a suit. <laughs> he was wearing a suit. Yeah. And then, You're like, probably just woken gym, up. Gym pants. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He's funny. I was... he lost his first game. He did. Two one. Yeah. Uh, Who did they play? Uh, I forgot. It was some small team. Damn. Bunch of farmers. Yeah. <laughs> Farmers on farmers. Farmers on farmers. <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, I kind of hope he does do well yeah. and then eventually takes over Arsenal. Because I feel like he'd be like a Zidane figure, you know? Greatest t- play, one of the greatest players. And now he's your coach. He could probably finish better than you. Yeah. You ever seen Zidane in the trainings? He would yeah. have that crazy ball control. <laughs> Dude. And he and still, he still got it. Ones. That's like my favorite. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, he did? Yeah. I gotta look that up. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Oh, remember that video you sent of Buffon 
doing doing some tricks. Oh yeah, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I, I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he was falling. What's he even there for anymore? I thought he was gonna start, but he doesn't start. The uh, areola kid. Yeah, areola. You think it's starting. it's just for like the money? The, the jersey sells. Yeah, I think maybe. <laughs> He's just a legend player, you know? Yeah. Or he probably wants that last shot at the Champions League. Uh, I don't he think should have stayed. Got it. Yeah, he right? should have stayed. Yeah. He should have stayed. If he had, if he had known Ronaldo knew? was coming, he probably would have stayed. Do two legends in one team? Yeah. You think they would fight? <laughs> nah. No? Nah. <laughs> Too many Italians there. Oh, uh, true. I don't think Ronaldo could take the take over the locker room like that. No. You think he can right now? Mm. No. No, I still don't think so. You still have that. You got at- Oh, true. The back three of Italians. Yeah. Oh, those are the, I guess the leaders. The Bonucci. Uh, Bonucci. Who, who, who was that? Who was that core of people in the uh, Madrid back then, before what he left? For Ronaldo left. Yeah. Or like Ramos? last year, it was him and Ramos. Ramos, Marcelo, and him. Oh, they were the ones that like. Yeah. They're the most. They've been there the longest. Yeah. Hmm. Ronaldo was the third captain. Yeah, third captain. Damn. Do you think if Ronaldo didn't like you, you wouldn't play? Probably. Probably. He got rid of Higuain. <laughs> oh, he, he did? Twice. He, yeah. <laughs> twice. Twice. <laughs> yeah, he preferred Benzema. Oh, he picked so, Benzema? Yeah. So really? They, yeah. It's probably because he sets him up. Doesn't, yeah. Isn't that selfish? Oh. <laughs> so he, but that's he, not Higuain's fault. I mean, he's got a score. That's his job, right? Yeah, that's his job. But I feel like Benzema's like, yeah, Ronaldo can finish it better. You could look it up on YouTube. The, the amount of times Higuain fucked up Ronaldo. Oh, really? There's videos, yeah. Oh, he just, he was more selfish? Yeah. Dang. There's gotta be a stat like as soon as like Iguain Lee Iguain left the the goal numbers spiked. <laughs> oh, for him. It was probably like thirty, and the next year it was like fifty five. Fifty five. <laughs> There's twenty two or twenty five Iguain goals there. You, you think you think he threw out Chicharito too? No. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody just thought that was like, what are you doing here? You think so? Uh, why was he there? I mean, I know why he was there, but like he was out of out of his league. Yeah, way out of his depth. He's a good uh, sub, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, I liked him. He was good at Madrid. Yeah, that small time. Just uh, like a season, right? Yeah. Doesn't he have the pink season. jerseys, right? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of wish I got one now. Pink jersey and the dragon jersey. Yeah, it was pretty oh, cool. That the next year. Yeah, the dragon jersey was cool. Yeah. I I never seen that before, <laughs> on the jersey. The dragon. The dragon. One? I'm like, what? <laughs> I thought it was cool. Yeah. Hmm. It's like the PSG one. The oh, yeah. One? Oh, yeah, that one's nice. The I need to get one nice. of those for Christmas. Yeah, that's what I or want. whatever, for the holidays. <laughs> yeah. Thanksgiving. Get Neymar and Mbappe on the back. Yeah. Both? Buffon? Buffon. <laughs> Buffon. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. You think, who do you think sells more shirts, Mbappe or Neymar? Which Neymar. country? Neymar? Uh, I guess. In France, Mbappe. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think Neymar. Neymar's the... Overall oh, Neymar. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. But he's still a kid, too. Neymar's 26 now. No, no, no! I'm talking about my Mbappe. Oh yeah, but he's doing. Decent. He's way overhyped. You think so? Yeah. Everybody's on him right now. He's the next Rooney. I was telling Caesar like, I can't believe Mbappe is like, he might be the thing, the next thing, you know. But I don't know. Or you think Neymar is gonna pick up? Neymar, they have the same kind of stats. If really? you look at it right now, yeah. Mbappe is just more popular because he won the World Cup. Because he's French. Yeah, and he's French. He's more exciting. <laughs> Yeah, you know? he's faster. Neymar yeah. has a bad reputation because of his World Cup. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the whole Barca around. thing. Uh, I mean, I kind of like the Barca thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like that. That's that's why that's made me like Neymar a little more. I saw that they're going to buy him back. They want to buy him back. Barca? Yeah, mm-hmm. I saw that too. That's weird. I don't think they should. Yeah, I mean, like, it's kind of like... He's going to be back in Messi's shadow. What's the point? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, Madrid is more reasonable because there's no Ronaldo anymore. Yeah. There's a vacuum there. Yeah. It's a big hole. <laughs> yeah. So what do you guys think? You guys should have replaced Ronaldo? Oh, yeah. I don't think you could have, though. Or you what could have player? got Mbappe. <laughs> oh, true. We well, would have broke the bank. It was right off the of World Cup. <laughs> we got money, though. I don't know oh, why, that's true. why we're not spending. Like, what are we going to do with all that money? I think it was Zidane who was, uh, was probably advising uh, Florentino not to spend. He probably told him, like, I want to build something here with the young players. And then, and then see he took that's... off. Yeah. And, like, obviously, I think... You know, Florentino's his own thing, and since Zidane was there, you know, he's a club legend, and he's also winning Champions League like it was nothing. Yeah. He was like, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> okay. I'll listen to you. I'll listen to you. Yeah. And I mean, that, I mean, once you saw the results, then it yeah. makes sense, yeah. 
I feel like Zidane knew that Ronaldo was gonna leave, and he's like, okay, I'm not staying for this. Because <laughs> he would be in the same situation that Lokotiki is in. Oh, you know? true. Oh, so like save himself? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you'll never see him in like a bad light. It's always. He won us three times. Yeah. yeah. You're never gonna remember the bad times of uh, Zidane. They won't remember the first like, half of the season. Like, you remember Mourinho, he had, the, he had the amazing, you know, La Liga campaign where they had, like, 100 points and the Copa del Rey. Oh, yeah. But then he had his third season, and everyone remembers that, which where he fought with Barcelona and, like, you Was know. Was that when he poked the eye? Yeah. Oh, shit. And all that, you know. Everyone remembers that, but before that, he had a good time. Yeah. You know? He stifled Barcelona. He well. did, yeah. Yeah. It took a, I think it, like, it drained Pep. Yeah. Uh, and that's why he left, right? I think after that? It probably yeah burnt down and everything mm-hmm. did you, did we you were like the only team in La Liga who was giving it to them mm-hmm. the I remember midfield that. of Xavi and Iniesta and I remember Jets. it was um they would always pressure from the front and that's how they would get them yeah it was three lethal strikers I mean it was Ronaldo Benzema or Higuain mm-hmm. and then Di Maria was really good back then oh yeah, yeah. he was a workhorse yeah and then Ozo <laughs> was there too oh Ozo yeah was there, yeah, yeah that was a really work back then <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, I was watching him and Ronaldo pass it. Like, oh, dang, they, they knew what they were doing. Yeah. He set it up perfectly yeah. for um, uh, Mourinho, set it up perfectly for Real Madrid to win these Champions Leagues. Because before that, they wouldn't even make the semifinals. Oh, yeah. But with him, they went back to back semifinals. And yeah. after he left that year, they won with Ancelotti. Oh, uh, so he just his work. The, like, the, the base and the, like, yeah. the solid. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, dude, I remember Leon would knock out uh, Real Madrid in the round of 16 and yeah. stuff. Yeah. He changed that, and that's why he keeps saying like those semifinals are trophies because Madrid wasn't making it before yeah, he came. That is you know? true. I never realized that. Yeah. Speaking of Madrid, because whenever they talk <laughs> about Mourinho, you think about his third the sh- season. The shit, yeah. Yeah. So how do you guys feel about Madrid? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut this entire part out. <laughs> We're living in the past right now. <laughs> yeah. We're like Liverpool, but way better. <laughs> nah, you guys are the way better. You know how Liverpool used to have the most trophies, like in England. Really? Yeah. I thought it was Everton. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it was no, Liverpool. No, it's Menu by one. One Europa League. <laughs> one <laughs> Europa League. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. Isn't Everton like third or fourth? I think they're like fifth. Fifth? Oh, yeah, sure. they're up there. They won a lot of trophies in the 80s. Yeah. That was their heyday. Mm. You get, you think uh, Madrid will have a trophy by the end of the year? <laughs> They'll have the Club World Cup. Oh. <laughs> If you're if you're asking technically, yes, <laughs> by the end of 2018, a tough win. trophy, like a real trophy. That is a real trophy. <laughs> that true. Not everybody gets in there. We're still in every competition. We're only uh, four true. points behind the first per- first place. I think Madrid's in, in uh, sixth place. Let sixth me look place. it up. Real quick. Yeah. I know Espanol played today, and if Espanol uh, held to held on to win, they'd be in second. I, I saw they were winning one zero. Oh really? Yeah. Let's look at all of this is number one. <laughs> it's Barcelona right now. It is. It is. Yeah. So we'll I'll read it off. It's uh Barcelona. Yeah. It's Barcelona with eighteen points. Espanol with seventeen points. Alaves with seventeen points. Sevilla with sixteen points. Atletico Madrid sixteen points. Real Madrid in fourteen. Yeah. And Levante who they who they lost to with thirteen points. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah That's mid really table team now. Also, uh, <laughs> what's what's this club called? Real Valladolid. Yeah, Valladolid. If they win tomorrow, they'll push uh, Madrid to seventh place. Yikes. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's Ronaldo's club. With the fat Ronaldo. Oh, really? Yeah, he's the owner. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> I saw that, yeah. Or if uh, Real Betis wins, also, they'll push. Uh, so, hopefully, so if uh, Real Valladolid and Real Betis win tomorrow, or whenever, they'll push uh, Madrid. They could push Madrid to eighth place. Damn. Damn. That's really far. But they're still only four points away, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's We're close. still in every competition, you know? Yeah. And, you know, if if Madrid wins the Clásico next week, you know, just one point. Oh, yeah, because yeah. it's a six-point game. Yeah. And then what if the other teams win? I mean, Barca... They have a good chance now that Messi's out. Oh, true. Messi's out for three weeks. Who weeks? hurt him? Uh, It was that Sevilla player. I don't know. It was weird because they bumped, and then he fell awkwardly on his hand. It was er- early on, right? Yeah, for, What's his for name? I want to give him a new contract. New contract. <laughs> agent, <laughs> Sign him up. Agent, whatever. <laughs> was it Ben Yetter? No, it looked bad, yeah. You can see like a yeah, little... Yeah, the lining was bad. Yeah. yeah. You can see like a little pop. Yeah. But he didn't break anything, apparently. He didn't? No. I think it's, it's like, like a sprain or something. Oh. Uh, but it still hurts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they wrapped it up and everything. I think he stayed on for a bit. Did he? I think he did. Oh, shit. I wouldn't play with that. It looked uh, bad. Yeah. Messi's always been alright, like health-wise. Yeah. You know, like he's never been hurt. 
it's kind of funny because you know how he always takes people on. Yeah. He doesn't get hurt. <laughs> I think in the beginning. His inju- he does get hurt, but his injury is like short. Yeah. Like a month. I remember when he first yeah. started, he would get hurt a lot. Yeah. I think it was just him getting used to like physicality. It's the growth hormones. The growth was, hormones? Yeah. yeah, I heard about that. They were saying like, does that count as like enhancements? It does. It does. Kind of. Right? Yeah. But it was before he was like a pro or something. Still counts. Yo, he would have been like 5'3". Or something, <laughs> you know. He's like five five. I know. He would have been like five one. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. He would have been Valbuena. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that tiny. He was good though. Yeah, he was. When good. he had his time, mm-hmm. wasn't he for Newcastle or something? I don't think he ever played for Newcastle. No. I thought it was Manchester City he played City? for. I don't remember. No, I thought he just played in the French league. You know a French player that's really good, nobody really talks about anymore. Payet. <laughs> Payet. Yeah, he's pretty oh, good. Yeah, yeah. One good season. He's pretty good. Yeah. Every time I see his goals, like, damn. He almost took uh, West Ham to the Champions League that one year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He did. That's yeah. the season I'm talking about. I felt that was his best season. <laughs> he had the, yeah. that, those killer free kicks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Apparently, he's the second most creator of chances. Really? For the last, I think, eight years or something like that. He's pretty good. I think uh, Marseille went to the Europa League final last year. Yeah, they did. I think he dragged them mm. to there. So that's where he is now, Marcel. Marcel yeah. yeah, that's his club. He left. He but he he left there to go to West Ham, and then he came back. Screamed to go back. Yeah, he was being a little ass about it too. Yeah, I don't know. Poor West Ham. <laughs> Do you yeah. like him? Uh, Dimitri Payet. No, West Ham. <laughs> I don't. They're indifferent to me. They're whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't even like, care that Chicharito's there. Right. <laughs> I ra- I'd rather Raúl Jiménez do he better. He doesn't even start. <laughs> yeah. He you know, came off the bench. Yeah. I think he scored against Tottenham, but it was ruled offside, so... Oh, man. They lost. Oh, they could have died. I would take Chicharito back in Madrid. Over so Benzema? With Benzema. <laughs> I think the summer is going to be... Uh, For the shirt sales? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a swap. So it's going to be a busy summer. Yeah. It has to be. I think they should have started this summer. It should have. I think I think Florentino was like just trying to push it one more, one more year. He was like He was all Neymar or no one this summer. Oh really? Yeah. Remember he, he came out. go for Hazard. Remember how they came out with the statement like we are not going in for Neymar. Yeah. <laughs> it was Mbappe too. And Mbappe too, yeah. Oh really? <laughs> Remember that picture I sent you guys of Florentino's head and he's kind of looking down, and it's like four four top players. <laughs> They're all Premier League players, right? Yeah. Something. It's gonna be the raid on London or whatever. Yeah. It was like Salah. No, what was it? I saw this one meme. Um, he was texting like mid game. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're oh, like, they're during the you testing. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Speaking of managers, yeah, who's who's it gonna be? Ah, uh, uh, I think it's gonna be Solari, just cause. Cheap. He's there. <laughs> He's there. He knows the you know, club, right? He knows the yeah. system. But who I wanted, I would say Wenger. Or same Wenger. Yeah, I don't know. I what can't else. believe I'm saying this. I don't know what else you would get. Honestly, Wagner's a nice experiment. I want to see it. I won't see it. Madrid always wanted him. Like, we almost got him like years ago. Yeah, but they really wanted him. Yeah. I mean, he's that type of dude that's like, he'll he'll stay, you know. But I feel like he like he needs the whole season to like build something, you know. Mm-hmm. So I don't know how good he would be mid season. Mm. If I think if they get Wagner, it might be like the best thing, but also might be a. Just the train wreck. Yeah. <laughs> like the, the game. Or. The games might be really fun. <laughs> yeah. But they also they'll get bad some defense. Ac- yeah, really bad defense. Yeah, but he, I mean, he has better defenders. Yeah. Right now than he ever did in like. Uh, yeah. So like a lot of the times when like when he came in like the the coach before him he was very defensive, so he left his back four, and he just added his attacking. So then like after they they retired like everything started to go down, so I think yeah it would work for like maybe the first three years. I don't know. Do you guys want like a long term coach or do you, does it matter? For a, hmm. if if they're just gonna hire Wegner, maybe just a year or two years. Yeah. And after that, do the whole refresh. Mm. Get rid of Modric, uh at, uh cross everybody. Yeah. Benzema. <laughs> yeah. See if Wenger comes, then Benzema's gonna stay because that French connection. You think so? <laughs> what shouldn't be like I want Mbappe? <laughs> <laughs> if you can get Mbappe in I think he should get three years easily. Yeah, just give him that. <laughs> Yo, I wonder how much he would sell him for, though. Mbappe, yeah. Like 300? 300, probably. Dude, yeah. he has like 10 years, you know? At least. We talked about He's overhyped. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Who else is doing it like him, though? Doing what? Scoring against farmers? <laughs> Does that mean they still scored? Mariano scored against the same farmers. <laughs> and he's starting from Mariano, Madrid. Mariano, yeah. 
Mariano was 20 million though. Oh, uh, true. And Mbappe is like 200. Maybe he three. scored the same amount of goals. I think 300. I think he would go for three. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just because, you know. He's the hot new toy. Yeah. There's gonna Somebody's going to come in and replace him. Who? I don't know. Marshall? Vinicius. Vinicius. We don't know. When, where did Mbappe come from? Um, it was Monaco. Kind of, <laughs> no, but like before that, did you ever hear of Mbappe? No, he, he's... No, we did. At 14, he was like really good. Really? Madrid, Madrid wanted, wanted him at 14 from Castilla. A lot of teams wanted him. <laughs> I guess so. I don't remember that one dude from uh, Norway. O- Odegaard? Oh, Odegaard. Yeah. Whatever happened to that dude? He's on loan. He's on loan, yeah. He's Is back he? in Netherlands. Was he trash? No, he's good. I feel like he's not ready for Madrid yet. Too soon? Too soon. There's a lot of uh, Madrid players out on loan. Yeah. That are good? <laughs> I think they're just ser- serviceable to the club. Oh. I don't know if they'll like be like the fancy Galactico you want or you think of. But they'll do all right. Yeah. Mm. Like, what is it? Asensio was on loan? I remember he got a lot of hype. Who? That Odegaard dude. Yeah. He did, yeah. And then he kind of just died off. I don't know. You remember that one other uh, Barcelona, like, player? Halilovic. Halilovic, yeah, <laughs> him. Whatever happened to him? He's done. I never heard of him. <laughs> he's, he's playing for some uh, club in La Liga. Um, Las Palmas. Oh. What's that uh, other are dude? Are they even in La Liga? Yeah. Isn't there some other dude that's, like, all, all something? I don't know. For Barcelona? Alcacer. I don't remember. I don't know. Oh, okay. Bohan. Nah. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty good. He was supposed know. to be better than Messi. Really? Boyan. Really? Yeah. That's what he said? I remember, yeah, back people would say, like, he'd be the, he's actually better than Messi, and they prefer him over Messi. Damn. Damn. People say that all the time. People used to say Hesse, Hesse is the next Ronaldo. <laughs> uh, I actually like oh. Hesse. Hesse was good. I think yeah. his injury ruined him. Yeah, I liked him. Is I he always... PSG still? Huh? Or is no. he out alone? I think he's at... Uh... He's at PSG. He is? Yeah. He went back? Yeah. I remember last year he went on a Stoke. long deal to Stoke. Stoke, yeah. yeah. I think he's really back good. at PSG. <laughs> yeah, dude. I like him. But like, I, w- I would always buy him off Madrid. He party too much. Oh yeah. yeah, he likes. He's a. I think he makes. He's music. a rapper. Yeah, yeah. He makes he's a music. rapper. Yeah, yeah. You, you always see it on his on his Instagram. He'll like promote his song or something. <laughs> yeah, you never seen it? No, <laughs> I don't follow Hesse on Instagram. I follow him because I think he's cool, but like he never grew up. <laughs> what about Antonio Conte for manager? No, <laughs> big no. I don't know. It, it's like, what do you want? You it's know? gonna be a train wreck. I'm saying it like he's, right now. He's that kind of dude. If he doesn't have it his way, he makes like a tantrum, right? Yeah. Right. And he like Madrid is like all attacking football or possession based. He's gonna come in. He's gonna make it all defensive, and it's gonna be a train wreck. Back three. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be three five two, or something, or three two five. <laughs> two at buses. Least, at least all the midfielders can play. <laughs> <laughs> no forward. <laughs> it's gonna I be bad. Know. Yeah, he he kind of got a bad rep at Chelsea, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Maybe Van Gaal? Nah, isn't he done? Didn't he, he retire? He should just probably like promote Solari for six months and then have someone good. Like Pochettino. Or Allegri. Oh, yeah, Allegri. I don't like Allegri. You know? He has that name, you know? Yeah. He, he's he's had with Juventus for a bit. I think he's okay. Maybe Emery? <laughs> nah. Or do you think he's not a big club kind of guy? He won PSG's league. The PSG League, <laughs> whatever it's called, the French League. <laughs> he also uh, gave it up to Monaco. Ah, uh, true. Damn. The only bad thing about him is people remember that loss to Barcelona. Remember how they smacked Barcelona 4-0 and then they lost 6-1? But it was really like... That match was fixed. UEFA Lona. Yeah, very UEFA right? Lona. They brought it back. Yeah, that match was fixed. Right? That's how I felt about it too. Wasn't uh, Sergi Roberto outside or offside? Yeah. On the last goal? And then Suarez like dived or some shit. Oh yeah, he did dive. Yeah, he dove. Yeah, he dove. Yeah, there was penalty. no touch, not even like close to his. You body. seen that video where like where Ronaldo's running with a defender and he just falls over, and then he gets a penalty. It was like the exact same way. Yeah, dude. Yo, Falona, at best. For real, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck them. Maybe Klopp. Klopp. I don't think Klopp would come to Madrid. Nah. He handed him the biggest L of his life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who else? Um, uh, Mourinho again? <laughs> Part two? Oh shit, I'll be down. They'll be talking about that. That if uh, he gets sacked uh, by uh, Man U, just come on down, come back. Bro, he's been sacked too many times already to be a top coach anymore, I think. I'm fine with him having at Madrid, to be honest. I think he's a good coach. Heinz? 
<laughs> oh shit! <laughs> he, he did coach Madrid. Take the Bayern. He did, and he did he win a Champions the, League. Yeah. Oh, he did. Yeah. It was Maybe like a, Capello again. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Was <laughs> he trash? No, I was just bring back old Madrid. <laughs> right, Scalari. Oh, oh shit! Nah, isn't he dead? Del Bosque. <laughs> Del Bosque. <laughs> He's free. Oh. He's not coaching anybody. Oh, maybe the Brazil coach, Tite. Oh, ah, uh, I don't really fancy him. I don't know. He has all that talent and doesn't do anything with it. True. Oh, true. Oh, what about the old Juan Jose? Carlos Osorio? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Peckerman? Jose Peckerman? I don't know. <laughs> Bruce Arena? Bruce Arena. They were saying Bob Bradley. <laughs> 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 I saw it on Twitter. Like, uh, <laughs> on that same video that like uh, Florentino's calling, somebody's like, "Here he is, Bob Bradley." <laughs> You're in Klinsman? <laughs> nah, dude. I Fuck him low. <laughs> He's gonna get fired. Oh uh, yeah. Germany. Or uh, what's that one? Go- what's the coach for uh, Bayern right now? Ooh, Kovac. Kovac, yeah. Isn't Maybe. That, isn't that Hoffenheim coach that's good too? Yeah. But he's going to uh, RB Leipzig next year. Hmm. But you know. Damn, it's already set up. That's not Madrid. <laughs> true, true. I'm pretty sure Florentino gave him a call. He'd be like. <laughs> Take the Dortmund coach. <laughs> I don't even know who the Dortmund coach is. I don't know. Yeah, but he's top of the league. <laughs> he is. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I feel like all the good I managers like are taken. Are taken. Yeah. yeah, they're all in I the know. Premier League. I don't know. Maybe we'll find by the end of the season. Someone's going to get sacked. <laughs> oh. oh, one of the top six? Yeah. <laughs> Luis Enrique? I mean... He did play for Madrid. Yeah, yeah I think you did mention that. I remember you were like, let's get Luis Enrique just to give it to Barca. Yeah, that's what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> he's been giving it to Barca, you know? He is. He hasn't been calling that many Barca players to Spain. You think he's by hurt? Uh, I, don't know. <laughs> I remember Jordi Alba was like really mad at it. He's like, yeah. I deserve to be here. Yeah, he's not been calling him up. Really? It was a, I think it was a bad breakup. Yeah. Yo, I remember like that one season before they won the trouble. Like He was on the way out. Like in December, turned it around, won everything. <laughs> Remember, they were like roasting him on ESPN and everything. Yeah, like, he's on the way out. He's gonna get sacked, and Messi then he won saved everything. him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he fought with Messi, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I wouldn't want to fight with. Luis he Enrique. benched him too, right? It, really? Why? Yeah. He looks mean. He does. That fight with Zidane. <laughs> <laughs> like, he did give. He give it to everybody. Dude. Yeah. Maybe Zidane will come back. Who knows? No, not. Yeah, it's not so. the time right now. Yeah, I don't know. Fergie? No. Nah. So one more, one more giggle. <laughs> they should promote Guti and call it a day. Give him three years. Guti's in Galatasaray. Is he? Yeah, or some or Besiktas. No, I thought he was with uh, Real Madrid junior team. No, he he left. Like I think they were gonna give him the job in the summer, but then they gave it to Lopetegui, and he's like, "Screw this! I want my own thing." Oh shit! Let me look it up just to be, hundred percent. I thought it was gonna coach the juvenile team again. I don't know. But he's probably the most realistic one. I think he has that Zidane effect. Oh, because he's a legend? Yeah. Is he bald too? No. Uh, <laughs> no, he had... He's actually pretty good looking. He yeah, has a looking young flowing, dude. flowing hair, actually. Uh, it actually doesn't say. I, I couldn't tell you. Oh, yeah, he is playing. He's coaching in Bishikas. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Dude. Like, all the good coaches are in the Premier League. Yeah. They absorbed all the good coaches. It's all that money. Mm-hmm. You know, like, I mean, if you could pick one from uh, the top six, who would you take? Pochettino. Pep. <laughs> Just to stick it to Barca. Oh, yeah, Pep. I don't think he would go there. You never know. What if Florentino calls him and be like, Pep, come here. This is your dream. I know it's your dream. <laughs> he might think about winning the Champions League. Oh, no. again? Yeah. You'll cement yourself as... If he does that, he'll cement himself as the Dude, best imagine. coach of all time. Yeah. No doubt. You think so? Yeah. Coach that... Uh... Dude, you would have Isco, Cruz, and everybody else in the midfield. Ceballos. Or he'd just be like, let's start over again, and like it'd be his team. By, by Thiago. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody he wants. Yo, I think you should get Thiago. If, uh... I guess injured too many times. Gets out. You need a glass. Mm. I would get Hamas back. Yo, yeah. Yo. Y'all should steal Kimmich from Bayern. No. <laughs> no? I think he's a little overhyped. Is he? Yeah. I think they try to make him out to be like the next Philip Lam. Oh. Uh, but it just hasn't worked out. He's a right back, right? Yeah. He, but Yeah, but like he can play in the mid too. And that's why they tra- they compare him to Lam. But. Oh, I saw this thing that Courtois not having a good time. Is it him or just the team? 
It's the team. I um, the both of the goals yesterday. I don't think how he could have stopped. One of them was a penalty. It's always fifty fifty. Oh, it's true. and he got close to it actually, but the other one, yeah, I don't know. He wasn't really comfortable with his like feet, mm-hmm. so I don't. I don't think he's used to the whole passing thing. Dang, you think they told he was like imagining winning games easy, and now he's like, what? He <laughs> 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 left Chelsea for this. <laughs> it's still a dream club. That's true. He always yeah. flirted. I think Hazard is definitely coming in the summer. Really? Yeah, he's he's been flirting way too long for Florentino <laughs> to not notice. Yeah. <laughs> you think Florentino's like, shut up, we're going to get you already. I feel like Ch- Chelsea is like Madrid's <laughs> theater club now. <laughs> it is. <laughs> right? Madrid's been, Madrid's been draining them. They sold Morata for like 80 million to them. And he's been stinking it up. Dude, Madrid's playing Chelsea. <laughs> 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 they got Corto for like 30, 35. Dude, do you think when they sold Morata, they're like, ah, you dumbass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now he's like, uh, who's laughing now? <laughs> Dang. It's unfortunate for Morata. He said that he's going to Chelsea because he wanted to play the World Cup. But then he ended up not getting called up. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does, does, does uh, what's it called? Spain have a good forward? They had Diego Costa. He hasn't been very well, doing really well. I either. think he does well yeah. with him. Now they now they have Rodrigo. Oh no, they have uh, Paco Alcacer. Alcacer. He's been oh, tearing it up in yeah. Dortmund. Yeah. I heard about that. Isn't he the top scorer? Or the t- yeah, he is. Like overall. Yeah. He doesn't even start. He scored like five goals and seven shots he took. Oh. That's crazy. Yeah. He scored against England, I think. Did you guys hear about that one kid from Frankfurt? He scored like five goals in like mm-hmm. ten minutes or something. Oh yeah, when they they beat him like seven one or something. Yeah. It's, yeah. I don't know his name. Pretty, pretty notable. Oh, yeah, me and CJ were talking Maybe about... that's who Uncle Florentino was texting. <laughs> <laughs> me, and CJ, you up? me and CJ were talking about how, like, Neymar's never get it, get out of a shadow. Remember? Yeah, he, he's born in the wrong time. Yeah. He's, like, a, with a bunch of players who were just... Too good. Too good, but not good enough to uh, overtake Ronaldo and Messi. Yeah. You remember that hype he had? Like, it's going to be him. Number three, number three. Did it happen? Who, Neymar? Yeah. I still think it is number three. He is number three? Yeah, I mean, pe- people on Hazard right now because, you know, he's been tearing it up. But, like, he did have a stinker of a game. Oh, today? Yeah, like, was it Smalling and, or not today, yesterday. It's th- uh, Ashley, <laughs> Ashley Young had him in his pocket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Ashley Young is a legend. He had, last year he had Sal- Salah on his pocket and this time he had Hazard. <laughs> <laughs> he just can't beat, like, normal, like, he- normal wingers. He has big, big pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when a bird pooped in his mouth? Oh, yeah. Oh, that was shit. nasty. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, oh, shit. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's so unlucky. <laughs> I remember watching the match, and then uh, Hazard was trying to do st- some steps over, or step overs over Matic. And Matic just stopped them right there, clean and cold. And like, they started the breakaway. Like for nothing? Manu- yeah, like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody struggles against uh, Hazard. Except for Man U. I feel like maybe Mourinho just knows how to stop. um, Because he plays Hazard. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I don't know. If you you guys ever play with your friends, play with them a lot, like you know what they're going to do. You know? Yeah. Like which way they're going to move it all. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about Arsenal tomorrow? At the time of the recording, you know, they haven't played. I know. I was kind of sad because like you guys were talking, like, I guess like I had a long Friday night. So then when I went to sleep, I had a heavy sleep, woke up like at 12 or like 11.30. And I'm like, oh, does Arsenal play? So then I go, I check the app and it's like Monday. I'm like, what? Monday? You're going to have to watch it at work. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, I'm working, so like I can't really watch it. It's kind of nah, sad. I, I have it on. I put it on my, next to my uh, monitor. <laughs> leave it there. I just have it on my phone. Yeah, like that. Like but, little background. But you like, you know, like multitask, you know? It's hard. Yeah, it's, it's hard. hard. You yeah. can't like read the game. During the World Cup, like I had Mexico playing in the back. Mm-hmm. And that was like when they were pl- when they were getting smacked by Sweden. Oh. <laughs> oh. It was, it was really hard to focus on work and then watch that. Yeah, dude. And then like I was like, oh, fuck this. Like Mexico's done. So I switched over to the South Korea-Germany game. More that, that was even more nerve-wracking. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I just couldn't focus, and I was just like, oh, my God. I remember my manager was like, oh, you guys can uh, take time watch the game if you'd like. But I forgot yeah. which game it was. But they had a TV, like, designated for World Cup. <laughs> they had a TV in our uh, cafeteria, and people would take their laptops and just sit down and work there. Oh, really? Yeah, in front of the TV. That's cool. Yeah, it was, like, packed the yeah, whole dude. time. I remember I had to come in during, uh, c- come into work on a Sunday. Because it was like the ha- half of the year gone, so whatever. 
And I remember the Spain Russia game was going on, and that oh, was also nerve wracking too. Dude, I watched that like with my parents, and we're like, "Oh, penalties! Spain got this!" And then that freaking Russian goalie blocked everything. The hell? He became Nor. Yeah, <laughs> for that minute. He absorbed the chaos energy. Right? <laughs> oh, maybe that's where it went. <laughs> Hasn't come back since. <laughs> right? He's he's been pretty bad. He's not the best goalkeeper in the league. No. It's Alisson. I think I was telling uh, Caesar or Julian like I think he's burnt out. From the last few seasons of Man U. Yeah. It's <laughs> mentally done. Yeah. <laughs> he's not going to Madrid anymore. You think he hates he? his no. defense? I don't know. I, I think he hates certain players on the defense. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you guys think you would have been happy with the him? No. no. No? It's too good to be true, right? Yeah, it's too good to be true. I thought they only wanted him because he was... Fax machine. Uh, I think <laughs> they only wanted him because he was Spanish, right? Yeah. He's gonna be the Spanish number one, because they sold they just sold uh, Casillas, and they were like, okay, we need another number one. Oh, that would have been a good replacement. Yeah. The heir apparent. Mm-hmm. Damn. So that fax machine fucked up. Why are they using a fax machine? Right. I know it was like four years ago, but still, <laughs> email that shit. Yeah. Or text it to the people. Stupid. Right. Oh, God. Madrid but in is... a way, that fax machine saved them because now they got Courtois, who's better. You think he's better? Courtois okay. He has his days where he's like number one. Bro, he... that man's a wall. <laughs> he's as big as the goal. Yeah. <laughs> but also, Navas was like world class those two seasons. I think he still is. He's, he's still really is. good, yeah. 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 Is he starting? In the Champions yeah, in the League, Champions he is. League. Oh. Remember I was telling Caesar, I think he's like big. He's a big, big day player, you know? He like is. A championship player. Yeah, he is. Mm-hmm. I remember during the, the first of the three P, like uh, when they beat Atletico. Remember he was there to like st- stopping a bunch of shots. Mm-hmm. Damn, you guys are spoiled. Also, the one the the season we won the league, he was making like shots all over, like stopping shots all over. Yeah, he was really good. Like yeah. really the best keeper in the world. Yeah. Dang. I heard he was crying when like he was about to get sold. I think he was like about to get. Yeah, on the plane. when he was getting sold <laughs> for De Gea. Yeah. <laughs> he went to the airport. He was like waiting yeah. for the plane, and then he gets a phone call like the fact that he fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> didn't they renew his contract too? Yeah. Yeah. More funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Did he even play? Who? Like when they were about to buy the hair? Did he already have a season? Or I what? think he did. He did. He played on the Copa del Rey. Oh. Uh, he was a backup to Casillas. Mm-hmm. But then Casillas was like calamitous that year. Yeah. Should have started over Casillas. It was weird. Um. Because the season before he was the number one goalkeeper in the league. Oh really? Yeah. I think the uh, that was the the twenty fourteen World Cup, right? Yes. That's when, like, Costa Rica was, like, made all the way to the quarters. And, yeah. Like, that's why they bought him. And then probably for other stuff, too. Yeah. It was so weird because, like, I don't I don't normally see, like, Costa Rican players get into Madrid. No, he's the first one. He's the only one. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think he's, like, one of the first, like, n- like the first North American, like, player to play for Madrid. No, no, no that's not true. Like, like goalie? That's not true. Now that I think about it. Cause no, he, we have Hugo Sanchez. Yeah, Madrid. him. He was a, he's, like, a Madrid legend. Yeah, he is. Maybe the first goalkeeper. Yeah, the first goalkeeper, yeah. yeah. We have legends in Barca and Real Madrid. It's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, um, like they were arguing for the national team for Mexico. They're like, we don't have a top top player like Vidal or like Alexi Sanchez. They're like, but when we did have one, we didn't do anything. <laughs> they're like, oh, true. <laughs> Chicharito could have been a legend. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> they could have been a legend at Man U for Castilla. <laughs> 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 this isn't tercera. <laughs> Segunda. No, yeah. They're he, not in the Segunda division. Oh, bro, yeah. <laughs> as, as soon as, like, Fergie left, like, he dipped. But I feel like if Fergie had stayed, he would have been pretty good. From yeah, probably. Yeah. Didn't he help him get to a Champions League? Yeah. Because he, he scored 20 goals that one. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. Even Nani was good under Fergie. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> they used to pr- compare him to Ronaldo. Yeah, I remember that. That's, that's They're cool. like, this is Ronaldo's replacement. I'm like, you're all kidding me. <laughs> I think I saw a stat this week. Where it said that like all the number sevens that replaced Ronaldo, or the number sevens at Man U since Ronaldo, it's like they've played like like five hundred games and they've only scored thirty five goals. Yikes! It's a heavy heavy shirt. Who they had after Ronaldo left? They had Memphis Depay. Yeah. Nani. Nani. Di Maria. Yeah. Di Maria. Alexis Sanchez. Alexis Sanchez. Yeah, they're all trash. I mean, they had somebody else. I think. I don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah, they're all trash. You, you think it's just like a cursed number? <laughs> I just think Ronaldo was that good that 
But he wasn't that good for Madrid or Man U. Just yeah. Like, good. But like for like not world class. He was exciting. Like he was at Real Madrid, you know. Yeah. Maybe maybe it was because of the league too. Yeah. Like you know people like uh, go crazy over like a twenty goal score in the Premier League. Oh, that's true. But on La Liga, that's like normal. Normal. Oh, that's true. So like his forty goals that one year he won the Ballon d'Or was like really like whoa forty goals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was that his first one? First Ballon d'Or. Yeah, that was the year Man U won Man the U. Champions League. Oh yeah yeah. That was his best year, I, I I believe, as like a player. Oh really? Even yeah. better than the Madrid like Ballon d'Or. Yeah, in my opinion, because that that was the that was when Pep was at Barcelona, right? Or no, that was before no, that. it was okay. the year before. No, Mark. But they had all the other teams that were better than them, and they still did it. And he won. He had like a huge part. And oh, is that know. when he beat when they beat Chelsea? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I think you're right. He had a. Really good season. Plus, he was young too. He was like twenty two. Yeah. Or twenty three. When I don't know if you guys noticed, but like the young. Is that the youngest two in the Ballon d'Or? No, I think maybe Messi was younger. Let me look this up. Yeah. No, but I know when when they're young, they have the extra extra speed. Mhm. He was really good that year. Mm-hmm. I remember. Yeah. Isn't that when he scored that really good goal against Porto? Like it was like a bullet. I think so. From like far. Yeah. Like no, I think it was like open play. Open play. Yeah, he just hit that shit and then boom. <laughs> Ronaldo actually was the youngest winger, winner, I but not that it. Ronaldo, the fat Ronaldo. Oh, <laughs> shit. He was twenty when he won it. Damn. Oh, fuck. Dude, I'm telling you, he was really good. <laughs> it was in 1996. Yeah, he man. was with. You gotta look up those highlights. You guys ready for the Champions League this week? It's back. Not ready. I'm not I'm looking not forward to anything. <laughs> they, they play. Uh, Madrid plays Victoria Pizen or. I don't know. Zen, pull Zen. Pizen, whatever. Whatever, yeah. We're not. I'm not looking forward to any Are you guys anymore. scared? <laughs> Until Lopetegui gets fired, I'm going to be like... I'm excited for the Clásico. You are? Oh, yeah. Clásico. Is it crazy that there's no Ronaldo or Messi? This is the Clásico of the future. Yeah. Without Ronaldo or Messi. It's a dark one. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of sad. I saw something on Instagram. I'll pull it up. Where it's like... it's The last time they weren't playing was in 2007. And yeah. a lot of shit yeah. happened back then. But they were still up and coming, right? Mm-hmm. That time. I think the classical like changed its meaning after Mourinho came. Really? Yeah, it was like after Mourinho and Pep. Oh. That, that rivalry. That was a good everything. rivalry. Yeah, ever since then, classical yeah. has been like. They need to make a story. Fun. Like for that. Like, like a, a documentary. Movie? Or something. Yeah, or a yeah. movie yeah. or something. <laughs> so the last time Messi or Ronaldo didn't play in the classical. Uh, that Nokia phone was the most popular phone in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sergio Ramos looked like this. Oh, with the long hair? Oh, the long hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rooney and Ronaldinho were on the cover of FIFA 08. What and the fuck? Buffon and uh, Cristiano Ronaldo were on the cover of PES. Oh, really? Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. That's weird. <laughs> and then Snapchat and Instagram had not been invented yet. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. Where were the memes? <laughs> uh, Julio Baptista scored the only goal in that year's uh, Clásico. I don't remember him. I think I knew. Isn't he Brazilian? Yeah. He played for Arsenal, didn't he? I think he did. Yeah. But he was a flop. For you guys? For both. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I always remember that Gilberto player. Oh, he was really good. Mm. And then the hottest soccer cleats were these shoes. Oh, I had the ones, the yellow ones. Oh, yeah. The 90s? The, yeah, those yeah. look cool. They still look cool. All the Brazilians had them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I remember if, when I had that shoe, I would shoot so hard. I don't know if it's a shoe or, like, I just had a better hit. The motivation? Yeah. You got the shoe. Hogo Bonito in Dude, that 90 looks really cool. On the, they on should the bring it back. Yeah, they should. Like, refresh it. Yeah. And then Kaka won the Ballon d'Or. Oh, that feels so long ago. Mm-hmm. That's this is I... the first year that's gonna change. Can you imagine? Oh yeah, there's there's more. <laughs> Man City lost to Middlesbrough eight <laughs> one. Oh shit! The good days. Remember that. Don't ever forget. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ever forget where you came from. You're still a small club. You're Man still City. shit. <laughs> <laughs> you might get relegated. Uh, and there's was it? This is Windows Live Messenger was the only way to DM girls. <laughs> Wait. Oh. I never use that. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember dial up? Yes, I remember that. I remember MSN. <laughs> yeah, that too. Not Messi Suarez Neymar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember the other day I was telling TJ, I'm like, I don't think we ever explained what relegation is. <laughs> oh yeah, none of our clubs will ever like face that. Yeah. Maybe menu, but that's another. <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So I guess are we explaining relegation? You explain it. <laughs> uh, so the league once once the all the games are played in the league, the last three of the league get demoted to the second division, and that's called relegation. Don't want the lowest point. Lowest point total. Yeah, lowest points total. Do we explain how points work? Points. <laughs> three <laughs> points for win, one for loss, zero for loss. No. One, one for tie, tie, zero for losses. So, yeah. Yeah. And that's relegation. I don't think. Madrid has never been relegated out of La Liga. Nope. Um, Arsenal hasn't been. Mm-mm. And then Man U has been, but it's been like... A while. Really? Yeah. yeah. And they'll never, they're never going to go back. Mm. Their players are too good. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine them getting relegated? No. That one year where uh, Chelsea almost got relegated, I, I couldn't believe that. Oh. When Mourinho was taking them down. Weren't they like 14? No, they were like 17th. Really? Oh, shit. Yeah. I oh. thought that was gonna, that was what's going to happen with Man U, but they're coming back up. Yeah, like, what is it? I think um, after... It was the year Leicester won the title, but Leicester had just smashed, like, uh, Chelsea. <laughs> and they were at 17. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that would have been funny. They were only, like, four points above it. Oh, damn. And you remember that one year Dortmund almost got relegated to? I think so, yeah. Like, it was, I think, Klopp's second to last year or last year. Mm-hmm. They, were, they were in relegation. That's when he left, right? Right yeah. after that? Yeah, they were really, like, they were in the relegation spot, and they jumped all the way to, like, ninth or seventh, something like that. After Klopp left? Or with Klopp? No, with Klopp. With Klopp. Yeah, Klopp had a bad last year. Yeah. Damn. And like they still had some good players too. He left right after that. Yeah, I don't think he. I don't think he took a Liverpool job right away. No, he took a year off, or six months off, something like that. Oh, weren't weren't they just waiting for Brendan Rodgers to get thrown out? <laughs> yeah, they really want to throw him out. Good old Brendan Rodgers. Did you like him? Do you think he was good? Yeah, he, he did was o- arrogant. He did okay. Oh, remember when he brought in Balotelli? Oh, he's oh, like, yeah. I, I, show, I taught him how to do corners or cover corners. Oh, really? Yeah. He had the mind and ego of Guardiola and Mourinho put together. <laughs> <laughs> but the skill of a championship manager. So who who do you think are the top two managers? Of all time? No, currently. Pep right now. Pep and Zidane? Like, do you mean coaching or like just active? Like, like coaching right now, like with well, a team? Well, I guess like these last five years. The past five years? Zidane. Zidane? And Pep? No. No? Allegri. Allegri? Yeah. Kinda, yeah. Like, who Oh, like who won most trophies, I guess? If you're well, basing up trophies... Because he, he was taking Juventus to semifinals, finals every year, pretty oh, much. Oh, that's true. Back to back. He would give Bayern a hard time. Yeah. Now I would say, yeah, Zidane and uh, Allegri. Because Allegri had less to work with than Pep. Yeah. And he was still stretching the team very far. Mm. And then... Pep, you know, had everything. Or maybe, what's his name? Um, the Atletico Madrid manager. Oh, Diego Simeone. Simeone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Man, I remember we wanted him really bad. But we're like, I don't think he suits our style of play. I don't think he'd work in England. No? Maybe I don't think he would at any team outside of Atletico, to oh, be really? honest. No. He's a one-man coach. Or one-man team, whatever. He always flirts with Hitia going back to Inter. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's but he's not going back there. Yeah. Yeah. Unless they get Champions League, maybe. I mean, they do. They do have Champions League, right? <laughs> but Le- Letico is like perfect for him. It suits he him. He built right? that team up. Yeah. He built that That's team his up. That's team. Yeah. So I guess it's like a bigger. What's a bigger accomplishment? Uh, Pep winning all these trophies with different teams, or like um, Simeone's like building it all the way up to what it is right now. Um, or is I, it Don's three three I year? D- run? I do remember when Atletico Madrid wasn't very consistent back then, before him, and now they're kind of like always there. Yeah. But like you know, you don't. You They're never. Top team. You never remember like the building. You remember the trophies. You know. True. <laughs> I think like if you're thinking about recent times, you gotta think about the resources and like team and everything. Really. Yeah. Let us got the money for sure, but before they didn't. Uh, Five but, years ago. But they got the money because of Simeone. Yeah. Exactly. Part. He built it up. Uh, but I think I prefer Zidane's more because he came in at a bad situation and turned the team around. You know, who was the coach before? Oh, uh, Ancelotti, right? No, it no, was Benitez. Benitez. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Benitez. <laughs> Rafa. Did he pick Rafa. him up halfway? Yeah. Yeah. He got fired. Everybody wanted to sack him. As soon as he got there, right? Yeah. <laughs> no one wanted him there. I don't know why he got him. Ancelotti should have gotten another year. I feel. Yeah, he had just had a bad year that year. Yeah. It wasn't even a bad year. It was it just. Wasn't, it was just too many injuries. Yeah. No. But Florentino did not have any patience. Well, it was, it turned out it turned out all right. It turned out all yeah. right. Yeah. Only because of Zidane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe like uh I heard that the what Henri did or what Monaco did 
by hiring Ari, that's kind of like the the Don thing. Mm. It is kind of like just a wild card experiment. Yeah. Oh, just see what happens. See what happens. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, it, I feel like it might go bad <laughs> for Monaco. Yeah. <laughs> as long as they don't get relegated. <laughs> I don't think they'll get relegated. <laughs> They're too, too strong, I think. I don't know. We'll see. See. Yeah, definitely hope he does well. <laughs> so Champions League. Uh, oh my so God. You guys should win, I think. Even with your bad form. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe we lost to Moscow. Are you guys away? No, they're at home. Okay, you'll be fine. We've been doing bad at home, too. <laughs> they, wasn't yesterday's game at home? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, damn. They need to wake up. Isn't I feel there like more... the players got tired of winning so many trophies. Isn't there more pressure also at home? Because, like, the Madrid fans start booing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's just a burnt out. It's like burnout of, like, the winning, everything. They're just like, what? what's the point? We've done everything. Yeah. Especially Varane and, like, Modric are, like, burnt. They have World Cup. Varane won everything yeah. Varane is really the best player in the world yeah. He won everything I mean, He had a terrible game yesterday but still <laughs> He really deserves the Ballon d'Or If he was a forward or a midfield He would be like in contention right now Like in the top three? Yeah I mean what else is there to win for him? He won the Champions League Most caps? <laughs> I don't know You guys always remember in school You would win like an award for attendance <laughs> <laughs> Yeah <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see that um, Griezmann is trying to push himself for Ballon d'Or? He is, He's like yeah. flirting. He's like, so who scored that? Qu- who scored from that cross <laughs> from Lucas Hernandez and hit it, hit that goal in? Who won that penalty? <laughs> who won the UFA Super Cup? I'm like, nobody gives a shit about <laughs> that cup. <laughs> it's like a preseason cup. <laughs> what? Right? Griezmann needs to stop. Yeah. Did you hear him and Pogba trying to get uh, uh, the French the French players like the NBA style rings? Really? Like yeah. when, like when, like when NBA team wins like a championship, they give them like rings. Right. Yeah. So he's trying to do that with uh, the World Cup. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. People are against it though. Why? I don't know. I guess. Cause it's American. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> that's dumb. But like, you can't. You can. You can always wear that around. You can't wear like a medal. <laughs> yeah, you can show that to your kids. You know. Hey, I won the World Cup, World Cup ring. <laughs> the World Cup ring. <laughs> I mean, maybe they should give those instead of like the, the medals. Yeah, they should. They should. Mm. Medals feels like Olympics. <laughs> yeah, I don't really. Yeah, I always see like when the second place team gets theirs, they put it on them and they take it off. They take it off. Right yeah. Right now. They shouldn't even give it to them. Yeah. Yeah, just hand it to them. Yeah. Here. Here. It's like, uh, what's it called? Give them a coupon. A consolation. Pizza consolation trophy. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Good game. Good game. <laughs> I'd rather be third place. <laughs> third place? Ah, uh, true. No, I wouldn't. I'd rather be first. Or but nobody, nobody ever remembers second or third, you know? It's always like first place. Either you win or you never won anything. <laughs> yeah. Nobody remembers the man who landed yeah. on the moon second. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> oh, I saw that movie. You did? Yeah, it was, it was good. good. It's good, yeah. It's actually kind of long and boring. No. But then, like, once you get to the moon, it's good. Watch it in IMAX for anyone who's listening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so was the moon landing a conspiracy? That's for another pod. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You want me to tell you? I'll tell it right now. Tell me. All right, so... The moon landing conspiracy is that we didn't land on the moon. Uh-huh. And then a famous director named Stanley Kubrick actually directed the moon landing in some like Hollywood studio. I heard about this. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's a. It I was... mean, it's kind of hard to believe you had all that shit in 1960. But now you have a hard time reaching the moon. You know? Yeah. Oh, that's true. And that, like, uh, throughout, like, Kubrick's directio, like, uh, his, his, like, career, he would sprinkle out hints saying that, like, oh, did I direct it? Or did I direct the moon landing? Like, if you watch The Shining or some other movies, he'll, like, oh, they'll, like, do a little, like, hints there. <laughs> oh, really? So watch it. There's yeah. actually a good documentary about it. So he's just, like, Hazard. I'm he's surprised they didn't kill him off. People are saying that the government did kill him off. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> Consider with the conspiracies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so his last movie, I don't know if you ever watched it, it's called, uh, I forgot, Eyes Wide Shut. And that movie, apparently, it was like almost three hours long, his cut, but like uh, he submitted it to the studio and they were like, no. And they cut out like an hour of it. And then like the day he like, uh, he premiered his movie to the studio, he died. Damn. Yeah. That's not fishy at all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not suspicious. <laughs> not suspicious. Yeah. Nothing to see here. I mean, if you think about it, like, it was a good good idea if you did fake it because then you make the other country like, oh, fuck. Yeah. 
Like their that, head, was the, that was the intention. Right? They wanted to scare the Soviets. Throw them off. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when they had the fucking missiles in Cuba? <laughs> or something, right? Yeah. Dude, that was something scary. <laughs> we were like, <laughs> we're not that far from Cuba. <laughs> we're 90 miles away, I think. Yeah, we could have got hit. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? That's, it? It's 30 minutes. It's 30 miles from here to USF. Uh, yeah. It's like an hour. <laughs> this shoe. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I would be scared. Imagine mm-hmm. just like living here and just like, oh. Might get Time nuked. to go underground. <laughs> we might get nuked tomorrow. Go, go under the, the what, desk. What You'll be fine. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> like, that would like, work. Yeah, right? You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> You're vaporized. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, I guess they did have it worse than we did. <laughs> We're not worried about that shit. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Yeah, North Korea is too far. It's yeah. good. It California like, shouldn't be worried. Man, they Hawaii. Were, Remember, Hawaii. They were, yeah. Remember they were like, no, uh, North Korea has, has the capability to hit the U.S. mainland now. They do. I was like, really? Do you think so? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it was a different podcast for a different day. <laughs> <laughs> Conspiracy podcast. No fear. Coming next. No fear. Don't kill us, government. <laughs> Whichever government. Why should kill off easy? Dude, <laughs> there's so many conspiracies out there. Have you guys heard about the Denver airport? Look at that shit. Oh, up. yeah, yeah. That one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit's scary. Even the one that always throws me off is the Mandela effect thing. Oh, yeah. That one's scary. That doesn't scare me. That's just like... That's spooky. It's kind of just weird because it's like we're living in alternate universes. Not true. Yeah, like my universe is, I don't know. Remember you, you said you guys were drunk and you guys were talking about you're in my simulation? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we, were, we, were hanging out, we were hanging out with Julian and our other friend, Alan. They were talking about like uh, Elon Musk had just gone on the Joe Rogan podcast. Mm-hmm. And like they were talking about like simulations. And Elon Musk is like thing is that like we're basically living in a simulation. This isn't real life. He's been like campaigning for that for like a bit. So we were talking about, like, how, is this my simulation? Is this your simulation? Like, whose simulation is this? Mm. I don't know. Because, like, this might be your simulation, but, like, it, like you're seeing me as me, and you're seeing Talsif as Talsif. Yeah. Yeah. That's wild. I like, mean, this every, is your imagination. Every, every head is a different world, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's some weird shit. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine being inside someone's computer, like, your whole life? <laughs> we're just in the Mac. <laughs> 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 what if, what if just the, so we're fancy we're not those windows hosts what if, what if the user accidentally like deletes us <laughs> Oops. or does it back us up oh yeah did it put us on the cloud <laughs> I guess hacked <laughs> <laughs> we're the virus <laughs> oh no <laughs> we're on some different planet <laughs> this one got hacked what if they update and then we, we don't make the update <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're survival de- to the fittest yeah. we're, we're deleted for a porn file or something <laughs> You're like, damn, it won't fit. For <laughs> downloading all those Let plans. me just delete the Caesar Danny and toss it file. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. We I digress. Re- <laughs> I remember all the time, like, if my brother does something stupid, I'm like, dang, Jared, natural selection's coming for you hard. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, who's playing? Oh, for the Champions League? Yeah. I was going to give you one more conspiracy theory. Oh, shit. Throw it, throw, throw it. Throw it. Uh, this is a soccer one. The one about how Ronaldo faked or had a seizure before the 1988 World Cup final. Oh, yeah. You've heard of that one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I heard that, like, they pressured Ronaldo to, like, play even though he wasn't well. I heard that, too. But... And they lost 3-0, I think. Yeah, right? They lost 3-0? Yeah. Was it 3-0? Yeah. Yeah, they got... It was against France. Yeah. And oh. I, heard, I heard France wasn't even playing well. And they smacked Brazil. A top Brazil. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, Champions League. So I guess the big one in in the Champions League next week is Juventus versus Manu. Oh, Ronaldo's return. What do you think? Who's gonna win? Yeah, Manu. Juve. I think Manu's gonna win. Really? Yeah. Like one zero. Yeah, I think Manu will get the best out of I Juventus. I'm gonna say Cristiano Ronaldo hat trick. No. <laughs> he never plays against go- well against his former teams. If he does, he scores like one or two goals at most. Do you think he's just being respectful? I don't know. I just remember in the chat I told you like just to tell him it's a testimonial and he won't go as hard. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nah, he'll do it. I you think know. he respects Barca or Menu more than Real Madrid? Yeah, I think oh, so. Oh yeah, that's his first love. Mm-hmm. That's his uh that's what made him, right? Yeah. He won't celebrate if he scores. No, he never does. Yeah, he wouldn't do it again. Do you think Real he Madrid would either. you don't think so? No. What if he did? No, I feel like he would. <laughs> he would? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Would he take his shirt off and everything? <laughs> no, he wouldn't be that disrespectful. No, I'm sure he wouldn't celebrate. You think he will do the sh- <laughs> celebration? He might, he might not have liked the uh, like uh, Florentino and the president, but he he respects the fans. Oh. I know he does. 
No, what but if he, he does, he's canceled. What if he did the shh <laughs> celebration? Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> or the calm down one? Uh, <laughs> he might actually do it if they boo him during the game. Uh, like, true. all game, they're booing him, and then at the end, he scores. Then he, mm. then like, the winner? Like, yeah. Calm down, I'm here. <laughs> hey, I know y'all miss me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think the menu will win. Yeah. Y'all gotta go from, like, Martial or Lukaku. Some unexpected goal. A tap-in? Yeah. A tap-in. But then the game after that, when they go to Juventus, they'll get smacked like 4 nothing. Mm. Do you think uh, Ashley Young will have Ronaldo in the pocket? <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> it could be one nothing or 5 nothing. Bro, Mandzukic is going to score, for sure. Oh, yeah. He's pretty good. He always scores. He's yeah. pretty good. He's a good uh, big game player. Yeah, I used to feel like he wasn't that good. But now looking at him, like he's pretty good. He just has a bitch face. Just yeah. can't stand. That's true. He looks like a mean guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you, you see him, you really want to punch him. <laughs> <laughs> he has a punchable face. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, he scored that one uh, Chilena against from Madrid in the oh, in the final. Yeah, that yeah. was good. That was a good goal. Mm-hmm. But you think Navas was just too short? I think so. <laughs> right? I think Courtois would have stopped that. Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of just like lofting down. Yeah. And, yeah. If he was like an inch or two higher, he would have, you know, tipped it. Yeah. Should have fed him more frijoles, <laughs> <laughs> more beans, or whatever. <laughs> Those messy hormones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> First fingertips. <laughs> 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 All right. So there's that. Um, was it Napoli plays uh, PSG? That should be good. Yeah. Napoli. I'm going to go with PSG. They're playing home or away? Napoli goes to PSG. Okay, PSG. Yeah, PSG. PSG. <laughs> Isn't that group really tight? Yeah. Didn't they like... beat them the first time? Or no. was it PSG or Liverpool who lost to PSG? Liverpool no. lost to Napoli. Napoli, yeah. right? So, By yeah. one or two? I don't remember. They, one. I know they lost. I think it was like one. Yeah, Napoli beat Liverpool. So I think Napoli's on top of the group. Yeah. And oh, then shit. it's Liverpool and then it's PSG. Yeah. And then whoever the team is. That's going to be a really good group. Yeah. I think that's I told you group. guys, you know, PSG might go out. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> See you in Europa League. Dude, I would love that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, if PSG goes out, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw a party. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the Jordan jerseys will go on sale. Uh, damn. <laughs> And then there's Atletico goes to Dortmund. Ooh. That was a sneaky good Honestly, one. Honestly, I think Atletico. I think. I'm going to say Dortmund wins. I'm going to say Dortmund. Because it's in Dortmund. It's oh, in it Dortmund, is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, the fans. <laughs> say Pulisic gets a goal. Three. <laughs> <laughs> He's still injured, right? I think he is. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> He'll come off the bench to rescue the team. <laughs> Paco Alcacer. Oh, yeah, Paco Alcacer is going to score, yeah. Madrid? No, he's a, he's a, he's, he's a lonely from Barca right really? now. Really? Yeah. Fuck it. Hijack the... <laughs> hijack it. They'll throw a pig's head at him or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Oh, there's uh, also the other match. This is actually a good week for Champions League. That Inter goes to Barca. Ooh. That should be this even, This is actually, right? actually, though, the top of the, the group. That's even, right? Yeah. Because no Messi? No Messi. Inter. Maybe a will team. show him, like... Oh, shit. Show him. Revenge. Oh, yeah. Dude, this that would be good, right? Yeah. If he had Messi, would have been there. Like, fuck dude, you. what if he scores and he celebrates where Messi's sitting? <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd be dope. Like, he could show him like Messi's a spectator, so he's gonna oh. show him why he should be in the national team. Dude, I would have. That would have been really good. Yeah. yeah. Like, them going at it, kind of. You know. Remember uh, how they used to paint the Clasico? It was Messi versus Ronaldo. Yeah. They could have painted it that way too. Icardi, Icardi versus, versus Messi. Yeah. yeah. No, it doesn't have the same. <laughs> Hydro wife. Hydro. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I'm gonna say Barca wins. Barca. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Inter because it is in Barcelona. It is. Yeah. I'm gonna go with a tie. That's. I feel like that's a, that would be a fair result. That would be a fair result. It's gonna be high scoring, I think. Like two two. Yeah, yeah. two two. Because you mean you have Icardi, you have Perisic. Who Perisic is, is who really does good. Barca have then. They have Coutinho, Suarez, oh, uh, Dembele, Dembele. Oh, okay. Then I think they should. Rakitic, you know, that's still all. That's still very club. Vidal's the bench. <laughs> yeah, Vidal is on He's the bench. He's been pissed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Arturo plays. The other one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Arthur, Arthur, yeah, Arthur. 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 <laughs> not to be confused with the cartoon. Mm. Uh, he's not that good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why he I starts. He's, good. Yeah. he's only 20 or something. Oh, oh. Yeah, so that's what they're saying. Time. That's what they're saying. Because, mm-hmm. like, they were they're arguing. They're painting him as the next Iniesta or something. Really? Sure. Yeah. I remember they, they were arguing on, like, the Mexican ESPN deported thing. They are like, how come uh, Irving Lasano can't go to Barca? They're like, they have Arthur, the Brazilian <laughs> dude. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. Arthur. Arthur is the, st- the one that's stopping him. Yeah, no, but they were, like, saying, like, how does a Brazilian 20-year-old Arthur go to Barcelona and start, but our our dude doesn't? It's because it's the Brazilian quota. You think so? That's what you told me. You told me that, CJ. No, I thought you told me that. Nah. Is it the Brazilian quota or, like, European or like European quota? I don't know. Because you can't have more than 
three players that are not European. Really? Yeah. But there, but Arthur isn't European. He's Brazilian. So. Yeah. So he he takes up one spot, right? It's a Brazilian quota. So <laughs> it's gotta be the Brazilian Coutinho quota. takes one, and then who else? Vidal. No, Vidal's from. Yeah, Vidal takes the third one. No, Vidal is a Chilean. Oh, Chilean. Or are you talking about in general? <laughs> well, in general, because they have three spots, they can only give two non-Europeans. Really? That's three. Yeah, that's. Oh, no, Suarez. That's oh four. yeah, the third one is Suarez because I think Vidal has a. Um, no, Suarez has a European passport now. Does he? Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, because he was in uh, PSV. Liverpool. Yeah, PSV and then Liverpool. Yeah. So he's been in Europe. What right? about that one dude, Nelson Semedo? Semedo's Portuguese. Is he? Oh. I didn't know that he had to have. Yeah, you, you can't really? have more than three. Yeah. That's why they sold Yerry Mina, so they could bring Coutinho. <laughs> oh, damn. That's funny. I, I, I didn't know that. You're pretty sure you told me that um, the only reason they got, uh, what's his face? The guy who, Paulinho? Mm-hmm. Because so they could uh, get the Brazilian quota so they could advertise in Brazil. I don't remember that. That could be true. They always go after the Brazilians. Yeah, they love Brazilians. But now Santos won't sell to them after the Neymar deal. Oh, really? <laughs> that's, why they, that's why they didn't get Rodrigo. Rodrigo oh. Rodrigo. Yeah. Are they pissed over that bullshit? Probably. Mm-hmm. They weren't sneaky enough. They went behind their back to get Ronald, uh, Neymar. Oh damn, yeah. that's dumb. Damn, you never they burn bridges. Never burn bridges. They were no. desperate for Neymar. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other, there's another match. Actually, it's in the Premier League. It's uh, Man City goes to play Spurs. Man City. Yeah, they go to they go to London. Man City. Yeah, <laughs> that small club versus another small club. <laughs> never forget. <laughs> Dude, this this ten years ago would have been like I don't give a fuck. <laughs> It'd be on like NBC Five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'll put it online or something. Yeah, <laughs> with terrible quality. Yeah. It's buffering all the time. Two forty. Two forty p. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It sounds like a good week. I'm gonna laugh. I, I, and then we. You think they'll tie or win? Uh, or Man City. Man City will Man win. City I think. Win well. Yeah. Yo, they they have De Bruyne now. Oh shit, he's back. Yeah, he's, yeah, back. he's back. Yeah. He's back. Nice. Yeah, they're definitely going to win. <laughs> yeah, they'll smack. They'll run over Spurs. But that'll be good for Arsenal. Because mm-hmm. Arsenal can sneak into third or fourth. Oh, true. I don't know. They're oh, yeah, fourth. We can. We can. Yeah. Oh, we know. Well, no. Spurs are fourth because if, they won today. Oh, yeah. and you haven't played yet. But if we win, don't we like go above Chelsea? I let think me, so. Let me check. I think they're, or I think match them. Yeah, I think we would match them. Actually, I think you might go over um, Liverpool, maybe. But I'm telling you guys, end of season, Man is going to come in, coming back. Man, they're gonna get second place again. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> it's too late. You can't lose that many points. They're not that far. They're about seven points behind. Nah, that's a lot. No, even that's a lot. Okay. Yeah, I that's not a lot, lot in La Liga, so I don't know. Yeah, that's true. I feel like it's a lot. What is like for Man U to come back? Like they lost to too many little teams. And that's a lot of points. As long as they beat the big team, that's. But that's need hard. to beat two of them. Yeah. They and oh. they they tied away at Chelsea. That's a good thing. All yeah. you gotta do is beat Chelsea and then Old Fra- Old Trafford. Yeah. yeah. So. So if Arsenal wins, the um, well they got they gotta beat Leicester by a lot of goals to get third place, because uh, Chelsea's goal differential is thirteen, and Arsenal's is nine. So you'd have to hit him with four. <laughs> yeah, four or five. Damn. <laughs> Again. <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah, and then you'd be up to twenty-one points. I saw this post. As Jamie Vardy was like, "I'm ready for it." And like, what are you ready for? A loss? <laughs> <laughs> you remember that last year when we played him on the first game? And it was like a 4-3 thriller. It was a classic, yeah. And then Giroud scores the winning header. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. I feel like the game, those games are always good ones. Leicester Arsenal? Yeah. Remember that one where Danny Welbeck scored the yeah. header? Yeah. That was a classic. That game. was in the 90th minute, right? Yeah. yeah. 90th that was a good goal. Last, last minute. <laughs> last touch of the ball. <laughs> Danny Welbeck. Well, well, Inyo. Legend. Well, well, eh. well. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the big one next week, or this, yeah, next week, a classic goal. Ooh. Without Ronaldo and Messi. Yes. The first taste of uh, the I think they're playing in uh, Madrid. Or are they playing in Barcelona? Um, Let me. I think Madrid. Oh, wait. Yeah, I have it. I feel like it's not going to have as much hype. No, they're actually playing in Barcelona. Are Barcelona. Really? Yeah. There's not as much hype, though. No. Nah, nah. You can't say that. It, there isn't. <laughs> I think so. Right. Who's going to do the calma calma after scoring? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Asensio, no. Lucas Vasquez, Benzema, Benzema, that trash, ba- that trash back. <laughs> Remember, you guys were like, you should take Lucas Vasquez as your winger. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Tazo really, you want to really get rid of him. <laughs> yeah, I don't like him. There's two players I want out of Madrid: him and Benzema. Oh, Benzema really? first <laughs> needs to go right now. <laughs> yeah, 
But he was playing pretty well this weekend after he came on. was good. You think he just overstayed? But I feel like we need a striker. Like, we have too many players like him who can set up. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Um, does Madrid win? Does Barca win? Is that a tie? Madrid win. I think a tie. And Madrid's going to win. Really? 2-1. At Barcelona? Yeah, they've done it before. They've done it before, yeah. I mean, yeah, they do it to each other all the time, but... What I that? think Bale's going to score. Yeah. Bale's going to score. And uh, Mariano's going to score. Ooh, the new number seven. Does he even start? <laughs> he started a lot this week. <laughs> he played well. He should have gotten a goal. With no Bar. For VAR. Damn VAR. <laughs> Meddling kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have got away with it. Yeah. <laughs> Remember yeah. last time when um, Real Madrid won against Barcelona, the El Clasico, Carvalho was like, fuck you. Oh, the really? Whole crowd. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they don't get fined. No, he didn't. The fuck? <laughs> the, 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 the Madrid and Barcelona players, nothing's going to happen to them. I yeah. remember um, back, I saw this one thing where like one of the Arsenal legends like flicked off the Spurs. or <laughs> I think he called somebody a wanker or something. And then he got fined like 5000 Damn. And then they asked him about it. He's like, best 5,000 I ever spent. <laughs> <laughs> 5,000? Or something like that. I, don't yeah. know. I think maybe it was like 10. But that's a lot for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so we'll, we'll wrap it up now. We'll, we'll, we'll give you the spiel. Uh, <laughs> you can find us. You can find Tres Ways One Go on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, Stitcher, Google Play Music, Podbean, and SoundCloud. Uh, yeah, you can also find us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, we're, all our links are on all the platforms, so you're never lost. You can always find us anywhere. And then, uh, anything else to say, yeah. Shout out to Julian, again. Waiting for a new coach. <laughs> uh, what is it? Hala Madrid! <laughs> Alright, peace. Peace.